Each of these is a fruit because it contains the seeds of its plant, even though we call some of them vegetables. So you're gonna color the apple red, point to the apple, the, the banana yellow, and the orange, orange, and the pepper and cucumber green. So you need all those colors, and then we're gonna do our scripture trace. It says, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patient kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, against such things <laughs> there is no law. Galatians 5 and 22. Can you name a couple of the fruits of the spirit? Peace, what else? Kindness. Kindness, yeah, what else? Self-control. Self-control, what else? Um, take control. Faithfulness, yeah. gentleness. Take control. <laughs> Okay, so you're gonna trace the word fruit, color your fruit, and then trace your scripture, okay? Hey everybody, and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Monday, it's a brand new week. It is January 31st, it's the last day of January. Can't believe tomorrow's February. Actually, honestly, this time it felt like January was pretty long. It felt like one of the longest months we've had for some reason, maybe it's 31 days and it's the beginning of the year, I don't know. But we are in full swing doing our homeschool work. We're currently working on science right now. After science, um, Holly has a little bit of language to finish up for math. And then we're gonna break for lunch. What you looking for, girlfriend? Oh yeah, those markers. I ordered a, it's right there. I ordered a rolling whiteboard because I really miss having like a big whiteboard um, where I could write down the date I always done this with my smaller girls at the other house. I wrote down the day, the day of the week, a scripture, and then their to-do list, and they could take a marker and check it off as they got done. So, I already have my maps up on the dining room wall, and I have no more room for anything else to hang on the wall. So, I ordered a big white rolling whiteboard that we can just roll over in the corner, roll it out during school time. So, maybe this afternoon I can get that put together and we can start using it tomorrow. It's going to be so helpful to have that. Um, we have the little whiteboard that showed Jack Hobby Lobby like this, about this big. And the girls use that for like their sight words and just writing on and playing games on and things like that. So, I'm going to get that one put together later this afternoon or Josh will because I think it's got little parts. There's Everly. She loves playing in that cubby right there that's empty. She brings her little Paw Patrol toys in here and plays. Anyway, uh, Josh left this morning and took Kylie to the orthodontist. She gets her braces off today. She's had them for exactly, let's see, she got them March 2019. So this coming March would have been two years. Almost two years she's had her braces and today she got them off. He sent me a picture. She looks so cute. She looks so much different. It looks different seeing her without her braces now. She got them off. I know she's been looking forward to this appointment. Super excited. She's getting out of braces and I got two kids going into braces Mama. sometime this year. What, baby? But anyway, we're going to finish working on our schoolwork and then get some lunch going. Oh, Josh is bringing home some Little Caesars pizzas for lunch, which will be nice. I won't have to worry about fixing any lunch. We'll just stick some pizza on a plate and they'll have lunch here in probably about an hour. Everly, what are you drawing? Um, that looks like balloons. Is your birthday coming up, Everly? Yeah. When's your birthday? You want balloons. You want balloons. When's your birthday? Um, Say March the 9th. March the 9th. It'll be here before we know it. She'll be three years old. I cannot believe it. Good job, Bethany. That's some good tracing, girlfriend. We got one cheese and one pepperoni. Y'all want some pizza for lunch? Yeah. All right, so now it is time for after lunch after school cleanup. It's always a mess when we're done. I've, and actually, I've already picked up a few things off the table. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish picking up the rest of the stuff, get our cards stacked up. Um, Josh said when he gets home today, he'll put together my mobile whiteboard because it's got little pieces. I think he needs some tools for it. So he'll put that together. But right now, I'm gonna get this mess cleaned up. Okay, so it's a few hours later now and it has warmed up quite a bit outside. So the kids wanted to go outside and play. So they went outside to play for a few minutes. Um, so while they're out there, I'm gonna show you how our fireplace turned out. I think on the last vlog, um, the guy was coming to put in our wood heater and then the next day, the, uh, the, another guy had to come and finish all the rock work around it. So I'm gonna show you how it turned out. I love it, it's beautiful. Um, it's actually better than I expected and Josh is definitely excited because he's the one that really wanted this. But I'm gonna show you how it turned out. So there's my fireplace. Y'all seen that a million times with my mantle. We've always had the TV there, but there used to be gas logs here um, and they took the gas logs out put in the wood heater and then finish the rock around it 
to match it and this right here the um used to sit up a lot higher but that came out and we just have one that's on the ground now i mean it's like an inch or two off i think but i like that much better um lower on the ground like that and then josh has got this little thing off of amazon to keep firewood on it in the winter and we love it and it has been working great um it has been heating our house like really good last night we didn't have the heat i think the heat was set on like 66 or 67 and it was 60 down in here and last night was like a brutally cold night it was in the 20s so it's working great and we like it walking around cleaning up snacks my kids have been loving these strawberry danimal smoothies which they like the strawberry and they also like the cherry from aldi that we tried they really like those but anyway we've had so many projects going or on around here so also we were doing the kitchen cabinets with the shelves well that is completed um the guy that's going to paint the bottom cabinets he was supposed to come today and give us an estimate but he didn't so hopefully sometime this week he'll come give us an estimate on painting our bottom cabinets white Josh got our white cabinets hung, the shelves built, and the backsplash. The guy will be here Monday to change that out to the white subway tile. So I'm excited to have my kitchen the way that I've wanted it. Um, so I'm going to turn the camera around and show you the cabinets. Pretty simple, but I love it. I love simple. So I've just got the cabinets there and then shelves on each side. I'm still not 100% sure what I want to do with those shelves yet. Um, right now I just have these white jars that I got from Home Goods with K cups in them. That one also has K cups in it, and then I've just got just a couple of little. The lighting's so bad. Um, a couple little fake plants there. So yeah, I like it, and I like that these are so much bigger because our other ones were so small. So it gives us more room. Coffee maker still fits perfect under there. All of that good stuff. So yeah, that's kind of how it turned out. And like I said, he's gonna tear the backsplash out, and we're gonna go with white to kind of match everything. So it's coming along. It's definitely coming along. All right, so now I'm gonna make myself a cup of afternoon iced coffee. Normally I've been doing hot coffee here lately. The other day I tried this new iced coffee, which was not good. That was in my last vlog. I tried to do something new. Not good, so I'm gonna stick with what I know, which is just the ice, oat milk, which I have vanilla flavored right now, uh, two shots of espresso, vanilla syrup, and just a little whipped cream on top. So I'm gonna fix me a cup real quick. Um, while the kids are still playing outside, I just got Millie down for a nap. She was so tired. I got her to sleep within like five minutes of rocking her. So she's out and laying down for a nap. So I want to fix some coffee. Here I'm out in my iced coffees with vanilla. Um, I need to get me some sugar-free vanilla because usually when I go to Starbucks, I get the non-fat milk sugar-free vanilla. And it's still just as good, I think. Because I get the sweet foam on top, um, which sweetens it up some. So I just got my oat milk. I think I like the plain better than the vanilla, but. All right, so I've got the oat milk in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of caramel on my ice. Now my two shots of espresso. I think my straw is in the dishwasher. I need to order myself some more straws. I had um, a lot of metal straws last year when I bought. I had, I think, four and over time they've just gotten lost and I don't have one in there either. I've got a couple of plastic spoons somewhere. I finally found a straw. That took forever. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, vanilla syrup in it now. And now I'm gonna add some whipped cream to the top. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Since Valentine's Day is coming up, I thought it'd be cute to put some of these little red and white peppermint sprinkles on the top. Oop, I'm not even showing it to you. There we go. So cute, looks like a little Valentine's drink. So I was looking on side of the box and they have um, the extra creamy, that's my favorite, and the original. They also have dark chocolate. So y'all let me know, have you ever tried the dark chocolate? If so, do you do it in coffees? or smoothies. I bet that would be really good in a smoothie. But like I was telling y'all this morning, Kylie got her braces off. I can't believe it. She's had them for over two years. Teeth look beautiful. So pretty. Feel different without them? Yeah. <laughs> so used to seeing her braces, all the girls were like, you look so different. Still so pretty. There's no metal in the mouth. <laughs> Josh is home. He's down there getting some firewood for the wood heater. Feels kind of nice out here. I mean, it's chilly, but it's warmer than it has been. What are you girls playing? Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol, of course. Paw Patrol. Oh, wait, you yeah. She got the mail for me. They love taking turns checking the mail. You can lay
Okay, so Josh got my whiteboard put together. I love it. I love the height of it, the size of it, and just like I thought it would. If it it's perfect over here in this corner out of the way, and then I'll just roll it out on our school mornings. I went ahead and filled it out for tomorrow morning. So tomorrow is the first day of February. So I went ahead and put that. I put the to-do list. Tomorrow is music day. So we have less work on music days. And these I ordered from the um, company September and Company or something like that. I'll, I found them on Instagram. Um, but this is going to be good for their copy work. So I got the month February there. Tomorrow's Tuesday. And then the season winter. We can go over that every day. And then they can copy that. And I'll just change out the day of the week every day on that one. Um, so yeah, I love it. And it just, it came with the a little marker holder. This is actually an eraser. And then it's got all of these little magnets here where I can put things on the board and then it just rolls. So I just plan on just rolling it out next to the table every day and then putting it right back over here. It's going to be perfect. I miss having a big whiteboard kind of sitting out like this as a visual for the kids to see because I've always had that um, and it works really well for them. So after dinner, Josh started um, taking our kitchen cabinets off the bottom ones because he's going to drop them off tomorrow to be painted um, we should have them back hopefully by friday but let me show you what my kitchen cabinets look like right now thankfully i don't have any like everly is two and a half she'll be three in march so she technically knows not to get in any of this stuff and millie's not old enough walk so thankfully right now i don't have any kids that can get into all of this stuff like they know to leave it alone let me show you what they look like isn't that lovely isn't that just lovely so I've got all my pots and pans laying in there, this cabinet. I mean, like all of them he took off so that um, he can take them to be painted tomorrow. It's going to be like this for a few days, which is no big deal. I can still use my drawers here if they just don't have the front on them, which is fine. Like I said, Everly's about to be three. She knows to leave all of this alone. Millie can't walk yet, so I'm not worried about kids getting into any of this stuff. So that's what it's going to look like for the next few days. <laughs> Emily's playing with the magnets off the whiteboard right now. Grabbing a bagel for a, a bedtime snack. Here, I'm gonna put that back. But anyway, we're doing some after dinner baths and getting some kids ready for bed. Got the school board prepared for tomorrow. Tomorrow is school day for my three oldest girls. Um, but anyway, I thank y'all so much for hanging out with us again today. I think that's gonna be it for today's vlog. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you in the comments. Bye. Mm -hmm.